Welcome to this episode of Belmont News Now. We are joined by Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, who's here in his bed to talk with us about town election, um, potential virtual town meeting, and other things. How are you, Franklin? Just fine, thank you. And I'd just like to point out that I'm wearing my 100th Boston Marathon uh, commemorative uh, jacket. Still fits, not bad. And did you run the Boston Marathon? I've run uh, uh, 11 Boston Marathons and 15 New York City Marathons, and now I'm lying in bed 24-7. So <laughs> that's the degradation of old age. Excellent. <laughs> well, it happens to all of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Franklin, how about town elections? They've, they've moved the date, haven't they? They have. Uh, at the uh, previous uh, uh, select board meeting, the, uh, uh, the, the town uh, made every effort to say that they were going to postpone the uh, town elections, which were originally scheduled for April 7th. Um, uh, state legislation has passed that allows all municipalities to uh, delay your uh, town elections up till June 30th. Uh, so um, on, um, uh, on a special uh, select board meeting, which was on Thursday, uh, mm -hmm. the board um, uh, first heard a report from uh, Ellen Cushman, our town clerk, and uh, she and um, uh, a town moderator, Mike Widmer, came up with, with three dates. And the date that they've decided to have the next election on is June 23rd, Tuesday, June 23rd. Okay, and, and that, and, and, and that date? yeah, some of the reasons why they picked that date is because it's 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 late it's it's one of the later dates of, of for an election. Other towns have already done this, um, mm -hmm. and most of those are are in early mm -hmm. June uh, and some and some in May. So we're we have one of the later ones. Some of the considerations it's it's late. You know we're gonna it's gonna it's hopefully uh, we'll have a downturn of. of, of a falling of the curve in, in terms of the COVID-19 virus. Um, uh, you know, Ellen said that, you know, she has she, uh, her volunteers at polling stations. Most of them are older, so she wants to protect them. And we have to realize also that three of our uh, polling stations are in public schools. So this might be a time when the public schools will, will, will have uh, been out, but we don't know because, you know, with, with what's happening with public schools. Uh, so, they decided that the 23rd, which is Tuesday, the traditional day for an election, um, would be the best date. So it's going to be a summertime election. Everybody can walk. You know, we'll have shorts and T-shirts and and, um, and, no and have a great summertime election. Um, and and so uh, something else they're planning to do, I think, is they're they're going to use the ballots that have already been printed up. No, 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 nobody, nobody is. We're, we're not opening things up for new people to run for office. Uh, the candidates who have already filed are the ones that will be appearing on, on the ballot in June, right? And that's, that's, that's right. You know, there's no need to reprint it. There is, uh, there, and, and the state has also uh, passed legislation that will allow um, people who are nervous about the COVID-19 to have an absentee ballot. That's, a, that's, a, that's an addition to what usually the... Uh, the criteria for an absentee ballot, and there's going to be early elections also. Now, um, uh, Roy Epstein uh, uh, of the select board uh, asked Ellen if we could just run the election as an absentee, uh, everybody just doing absentee ballots. Now, that's possible. It's, it's, uh -huh. It certainly would 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 prevent uh, you know the idea of, of of people congregating at eight sections, uh, you know, eight polling stations around the around the town. The problem with that is that even if you have that. You have to have at least one live, uh, you know, one active polling station. Probably be, you'd probably be in a central location. Um, uh, but what would that happen? You'd probably would have a large number of people waiting in line, and then right. you have that. You know, you put as Ellen said, you could put put people in jeopardy if we still have the uh, the COVID um, uh, going going for the COVID nineteen uh, pandemic still around this area. Okay, and so how how about town meeting? Um, that's that's also been postponed, right? And they're they're talking about going virtual. Actually, uh, actually, we uh, the first segment, as as you know, Belmont uh, puts their uh, town meeting in two segments, usually three weeks apart. The first one was, was supposed to be in April, and that was going to be uh, all the uh, non budgetary items such as uh, citizens' petitions and uh, and zoning. Uh, uh, bylaw uh, amendments okay. um, that was postponed 
The second segment was not postponed, so that is the 27th of May. We will. Everybody's expecting that to still go forward. Okay. And, the, and the way that they're, they're they're thinking of, and and Ellen is hoping that legislation is again state legislation is passed, in in, in the next week or so, I would hope, that would allow for virtual uh, town meeting. Basically, everybody would go onto their computers. They would go onto Zoom, uh, and uh, we would use um, the technology that uh, Belmont has with from Turning Technology, which is which does the clickers, <laughs> the voting clickers, uh, and uh, they w and, and uh, they've already. Uh, Ellen has uh, Miss Cushman, uh, the town clerk, has already uh, had her staff look into this, going to webinars and training to see if this was possible. And yes, it is. So what you could have is is literally a a town meeting via Zoom where you would uh, everybody would go into this um, uh, virtual room mm -hmm. and you would have uh, voting and, and debate and everything like that is it possible you bet it is i mean every uh, um, many um, uh, companies do this already uh, uh, tom caputo said that he had been in a, a meeting with 250 people at work at his work okay. he said it worked brilliantly so and, and we have two, 288 town meeting members um, um, so, so I mean, it is conceivable that we could use something like Zoom. It, it, it's it's not it's not just conceivable, but you know, if 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 all the uh, if the worst case scenario with the with the COVID nineteen virus continuing throughout this country uh, goes as long as they say it is, we may have this. And uh, you know, I think people are pretty excited by the opportunity of maybe having this, not having people in a large group. Not worrying people. People may, you know, town meeting members may not show up because they're just worried. They may be in a, in a vulnerable group or they have, you know, of, of any sort. This could actually be a, 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 an interesting and a, a wonderful way of looking at uh, town government. Um, uh, and, and as uh, as as Adam Dash, uh, select uh, a select uh, board member, said that what they can do then is uh, if you uh, if you go over your limit of like two minutes talking about a subject. Yeah, Tom Moderator can just mute you. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> All right. Well, so so I I think you also had something for us on schools. That's right. The uh, as you know, as a, as a member of the school committee, um, uh, and I'm going to be silent and let you do the the reporting. <laughs> but but please, uh, if I make any huge mistakes, uh, tell me. Um, uh, what occurred uh, is that there was basically an update by the superintendent, Tom Phelan, um, uh, John Phelan, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, uh, and he basically said um, um, that uh, the, the schools have already started their outreach, uh, where teachers are outreaching to students and, and, and thinking of, you know, uh, asking the students to think about, you know, an, enrich, an enrichment plan, you know, to basically, you know, do uh, become just don't stop, don't don't make this an extended vacation. Make this really an opportunity where you can learn some more. The problem, uh, the issue that then came up is the next day is that uh, uh, Governor Charlie Baker uh, delayed the opening of schools by basically a month until May fourth, and it was going to be April seventh. So uh, was this April seventh? I, I believe. It yeah, was. it was. So, yeah. So, you know, now there is, a, it appeared that um, uh, talking to, uh, well, listening to uh, Superintendent Phelan, it appears that there's a, a good opportunity or maybe an opportunity for some remote learning, but he's going to follow the lead of the uh, state uh, education uh, commissioner. Um, he is also, um, uh, like, uh, he is a member, of, well, Belmont is a member of a small uh, uh, a um, group of um, of neighboring uh, towns where the superintendents have gotten together and said, uh, you know, we should have, we should work together and see, you know, what's the best way of going forward with uh, remote education if we go, if they go that way. Um, uh, so we're, we're basically waiting for, for the superintendents to lay out his next step. As he said, he's ready to pivot to an, another to a next uh, um, a level of education. You know, who knows what that will be. Um, the, I the, suspect this, we'll this, hear this, about it soon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think, and, and I also heard him, and, I, and if, you, if you listen to the broadcast, of it, and it was uh, a video conference again, there was over 100 people at this video conference. And, and, and if, you, if, you, um, 
received any any communication from parents or, or you saw or you go to one of the Facebook groups, you see there's a level of frustration. And I think he acknowledged that. He said, you know, we're, we're trying to work as, as diligently as possible, but this is brand new for us. How do we how do we bring children, you know, into, you know, how do we do this correctly, basically? Uh, so uh, he, he heard the frustrations. And I think that, you know, as long and as I think the, the greatest frustration among parents is, transparency please be out front please tell us what you're thinking about you know let us know so we can help so we can almost help you too mm -hmm. so so basically we're going to have to wait for next week where, where i think you know this group of uh, towns that have gotten together to work um, uh, um collegiately uh will will uh, come out with some kind of plan and i think the state has already st said that they're 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 pushing the uh, school opening back by a month to allow superintendents and, uh, to, to think and, and plan for that opening on, on, uh, in May. Okay, Franklin. Um, let's also talk about video conferencing. Yes, video conferencing is a very, it's a great way of, uh, of, of moving forward uh, on, uh, on government when, you're, when you have a, a, an, an, an emergency here or a disaster. It's- uh, We're it's starting really out in stock and Zoom. Oh, geez, I wish I had. I'm not. I should have put it in all Disney. Um, uh, so, <laughs> but what what you have is is that you have a good. You have the good and bad. The good is that um, it's it's been working brilliantly, basically. And you know, it's it's a, it's been it's it's seamless. It's uh, you can hear people for the far, first time. One of my biggest complaints about school committee was that you never could hear people. They're also soft spoken. You're you're always trying to listen in at, uh, at at the public meetings. This one, you hear everybody very clearly. You can uh, you can you can you can see them. Um, the 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 bad parts are it is not it's not the seamless. It's not as seamless as it should be. You know, um, people who have questions, it, it takes time for the questions. You don't know how many people really want to do it, have questions, but can't figure out the technology still. So it's 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 it's, a, it's an issue that way. There's also issues. Um, uh, about uh, how people uh, present themselves, you know, for a lot, for, for a lot of, I mean, if you look at the school committee one, it looked like everybody was looking down into their, into their camera, and uh, uh, so you can't really get that feel for them, you know. At, at the select board meeting yesterday, uh, uh, Roy Epstein had a very interesting virtual background. His virtual background of the, was of the Maginot Line in France before 1940. <laughs> I, 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 I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, I did, a, I did a report on that when I was in high school. I, mean, <laughs> I was going like, what's that all about? I was thinking maybe he forgot. Maybe he wanted to have something tranquil and he just put, 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 picked the wrong background. Now, there's a great, now, if you have the wall, if you have the New York Times, I believe it was the New York Times, New York Times has a um, how to do video conferencing right. And then they talk about lighting and how you should always look forward into a, into a, into a camera. You know, you should be on the same plane. You should have a, maybe even a little speaker. You know, if you're going to be doing video conferencing, do it right. You know, and I saw some good examples at the uh, school uh, school committee meeting, you know, of people looking into it, a good lighting, books in the background. You know, that, that's very nice because a lot of the times, you know, you're looking, they're looking down and they're, and the camera's looking up and you see the the interesting molding they have in their house, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, that may not look so great, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 uh, lighting and uh, good sound. You know, if you do that, you're doing it correctly. Um, so uh, basically, and um, I, I have um, and, and oh, I should also say that uh, Belmont has declared themselves in a state of emergency. We have oh, our so, own. so was that passed? Yes, it, yes, it passed. Um, it uh, will go to the uh, board of health on their Monday meeting. Okay. Uh, uh, so to to uh, sign off on it's basically a way of just saying you know we're we're concerned. It's it's also a way of putting you uh, of saying that you you're in a level of emergency that if there's federal funds or state funds that come out, you now have that declaration. So mm -hmm. it, it it helps you out in that way. All right. Well, that's good to know, Franklin, and um, certainly um, appreciate talking to you and. Glad to see you're doing well, and we're looking forward to talking with you again next time. I'll be here in bed. <laughs>